Hey what's up guys, Scoot Noob here again with a random Twin Peaks Battleground. I joined up a little late, but the gameplay was pretty decent, so I decided to use the clip. So instead of narrating on the gameplay today, I'm going to talk about Feral Druid Mist of Pandaria changes. In my opinion, overall, Feral is looking pretty strong for Moth. We get a whole lot of utility, we have a good set of talents to choose from, and our damage is looking pretty solid too. So first I'm going to talk about the talents a bit. In the first tier of the tree we have a 15% movement speed increase, which we get from cat form anyway, so I'm not going to take it, even if it does stack. We also get Displacer Beast, which teleports us 20 yards forward and puts us in stealth. The stealth will break on damage, and I play a Night Elf, so I already have the ability to vanish and won't be taking this talent. The third talent is wild charge which makes you fly up to an er yeah makes you fly up to a friendly target up to 25 yards away i will be taking wild charge it's the best one in the tier because that gives us a lot more movement and getaway tactics and it only has a 15 second cooldown in the second tier we have nature's swiftness which makes a spell instant and has 50% increased effect. Renewal, which is a flat 30% heal on a 2 minute cooldown. And Scenarian Ward, which heals you over 6 seconds when you take damage. So it's essentially a power word shield glyph heal. And it only has a 30 second cooldown, so that's nice. I'll be taking Scenarian Ward because it'll probably do more healing overall than Nature Swiftness and Renewal. The third tier includes a range, slow, and fairy fire for 50% movement speed reduction. We also got mass entanglement, which is an instant route that also roots anybody near the target. And the old balance spell, Typhoon, which like normal knocks back anybody in, in front of you. I'll probably take Typhoon because I feel like it's a more reliable peel than a root, which will probably get dispelled, and it's situationally used to knock people off cliffs as funny as hell. Tier 4 is first talent, just gives you 2 energy per combo point on finishers. No thanks. The next talent, Incarnation, is pretty much a shadow dance. We get to use any abilities which require stealth, and Ravage won't have a positional requirement. It's on a 3 minute cooldown and lasts 30 seconds. The last talent is Force of Nature, which summons 3 treants to help you fight. They take on whatever spec you are, so if you're balanced, they cast Wrath, Resto cast Seals, Feral, I guess it just melees like what we have now. I'll be specking into Incarnation, because it's going to be a great way to set up kills by letting, me, by letting me use Pounce and Prowl in combat. The fifth tier's first talent is Disorienting Roar, which is an AoE disorient like Dragon's Breath. It lasts 3 seconds and has a 30 second cooldown. Uh, the next talent is Ursaw's Vortex, and it creates a vortex of wind on the ground that reduces mute movement speed and sucks the enemy back in if they try and get out. It lasts 10 seconds and has a 1 minute cooldown. That's going to be a pretty good way to set up solar beams actually. Uh, third is a Mighty Bash, which is a 5 second stun on a 50 second cooldown. I don't see Mame in the spellbook, so we'll probably be specking into this because it's the only stun we have other than Pounce. And last but not least, we have our level 90 talents. The first one's Heart of the Wild, and increases your ability to perform rolls outside of your normal spec. So example, if your spec Feral, using this spell and healing will increase your healing. Uh, that's pretty much the only use for the spell, for Feral, actually. If you're a bear, I mean if you go bear form and you use this ability, then it reduces your damage a bit, I think. Or increases your armor or something. It's not that useful. Um, the next talent, Dream of Scenarius, increases your next healing spell by 70% when you use a melee ability. So I guess you could time this with an instant healing touch for a nice boost in healing. Or any other healing spells that we have. Scenarian Ward, that might work. <laughs> cool. Uh, but the last and most enticing talent, personally, is Nature's Vigil, which is a flat 20% damage increase and also healing for 30 seconds on a 3 minute cooldown. Uh, but the cool part about this spell is that it also causes all healing you do to deal 
or twenty five percent of the healing as damage to a nearby enemy and any damage you do to also heal twenty for twenty five percent of the damage you do to nearby friendly targets so you pop this you're dealing damage and you're healing the people around you for a lot too because we're obviously dealing a good amount of damage with that twenty five percent of the damage we deal it's gonna be a good amount I'll definitely be using this uh, the old last level 9 talent was Disentanglement, which gave us back the ability to shift out of roots, but it looks like they took it away again and gave us Nature's Vigil instead. So our offensive damage abilities are looking really strong at this point. In addition to what we normally have is Tiger's Fury and Berserk, we also get the Shadow Dance with Incarnation and Nature's Vigil's 20% extra damage. Our burst is probably going to be pretty insane. All the old mandatory talents we had are being made into passive abilities, and any choice talents are being made into glyphs. Like, there's a bark skin glyph which reduces your chance to be crit by 25%, like the old talent that we had, and a glyph that increases healing taken while in cat form by 20%, and so on. One glyph that'll probably mandatory is Glyph of Savagery, which allows Savage Roar to be used with zero combo points, but it only has a 12 second duration. Now back before Cataclysm, Feral's main spell priority was Savage Roar, because it increased our damage by 30%. They removed that in Cataclysm and admitted that it was a mistake to have such a large portion of a class's damage reliant on one spell, but now Blizzard is being retarded and thinks it's a good idea to bring that back. So once again, Savage Roar will increase our damage by 30% and will become our top priority to keep up. Luckily, that glyph will help us seize out the pain. Moving on, we have a level 87 ability called Symbiosis, which when cast gives us an ability specific to the target's class, based on the druid spec, and gives them an ability of ours. So as a Feral Druid, we actually get some useful stuff. So now I'm just going to list out all the abilities we get from each class. If you use this on a Death Knight, you're going to get an Anti-Magic Shell. Use it on a Hunter, you get Play Dead, which will drop your target. Mage, you get a Frost ro Nova Root. Um, Monk hasn't been announced yet, apparently. Paladin, you get Divine Shield. That's pretty good. Priest is Dispersion. Also pretty good. Rogue, you get redirect, so you can redirect a rip to another target, or you can redirect a um, ferocious bite for a finisher, um, or just redirect your combo points to get started on the next target, whatever. Um, Shaman, you get feral spirit, so if you thought dealing with two wolves was pretty bad, imagine how having to deal with four. If you're playing with a shaman, that is. <laughs> um, if you play with a, w if you use it on a warlock, uh, then we get soul swap. So we could soul swap our bleeds. Use it on a warrior, and you get shattering blow, which is pretty much only useful to break a ice block or a divine shield. This gives us a lot more options for viable comps in mop. Being able to soul swap our dots will probably make us a lot more viable in warlock comps because we can make target switches easier. And playing with a paladin, priest, or death knight will give really strong defensives. I'm looking forward to seeing how feral warlock holy paladin works out because then I'll have a guaranteed symbiosis on the warlock and the paladin getting soul swap on offensive uh, maneuvers and bubble when we have to go defensive. So that's it for mob changes, all the important stuff anyway. Um, we lost this battleground pretty bad. But I went 7-2 and two and was second on damage for my team after coming in late. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment, subscribe, let me know if you liked it. Have a good one guys.